weird old thing called the world. And tonight on What's This Weird Old Thing Called the World, we go to America to find out just how much the locals there really know about the world that they run. Name a country that begins with U. Yugoslavia. With you, Utah. A country that starts with a U. Uh, Utopia. <laughs> Who's in the Coalition of the Willing? No freaking idea. Afghanistan, Kuwait, Iraq, Pakistan, uh, you know? <laughs> New Zealand? New Zealand. What's the religion of Israel? Israeli. Muslim. Islamic? Catholic, probably. What religion are Buddhist monks? Buddhist monks. Buddhist monks, Buddhist monks, Buddhist monks. Islamic, I don't know. Who won the Vietnam War? We did. Uh, and who was... <laughs> Wait, were we even in the Vietnam War? Okay, good. <laughs> Who is Fidel Castro? A singer. How many sides does a triangle have? Damn, four. There's no sides. One. What is the currency used in the United Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> What's the currency in the United Kingdom? <laughs> what is it? In the United Kingdom, I don't know. Possibly American money. Queen Elizabeth's money? <laughs> That's all I know. Name a country that begins with you. A country? Yeah. <laughs> um, what about this one? What? The United States of America. <gasps> And who said Americans weren't switched on? I just love how much they embrace the world around them. And the world their country runs. Coffee Annan is a drink, true or false? Coffee's a drink. Coffee and what? It sounds like a law firm. Okay, who is Tony Blair? I don't even know. Okay, all right, any guess? Any guess? Skater? Tony Blair is an actor. Linda Blair's brother? Which countries are in the axis of evil? Um. I know Germany's one of them. I'm not sure on the other ones. Okay, California. Yep. New York. Jerusalem. Right. Jerusalem. Okay, there's, there's more than one. I think all of them. Does it start with us? Florida. Okay, I'm a little bit mixed up with the Palestinians mm -hmm. and the Israelis. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one is throwing the rocks? No, oh, I can't think of the other name of the other one. That the fellow with the turban thing, and I call it a <laughs> diaper head, really. And I believe Mississippi. Who was the first man on the moon? John Glenn. Armstrong walked on the moon, but I think it was a Russian. I'm not sure. Well, I got to tell you, some people don't believe that happened. They believe that was uh, reincarnated in in Arizona somewhere. What is a mosque? Don't have any idea. You want to guess? An animal. I have no intelligent guess. Okay, do you want to make a stupid guess? How many kidneys does a person have? One. What is collateral damage? Well, they just made a film about it, but that's definitely not what it is. It probably has something to do with what the movie was about, but not necessarily related to the movie. Do you know what I mean? How many world wars have there been? Three. Which state does KFC come from? What, the chicken? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. Okay, do you, do you know what KFC stands for? Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? Star Wars is based on a true story. True or false? True. Uh, what are Hiroshima and Nagasaki famous for? Uh, what is it, Zudo wrestling or whatever? Where is the West Bank? On the East Coast, probably. <laughs> uh, I'd say somewhere in New York. How many Eiffel Towers are there in Paris? I say about 10. What is Al-Qaeda? Okay, there's a group, there's a group, uh, suicide group in Israel in the uh, Middle East that they do suicide bombs and stuff. Okay, right, yep. Um, and it's, and the, the president of it is Yasser Arafat. Right, yep. Everybody knows that. Okay. Listen to my answer. Al-Qaeda is a wing of the Masonic Order. Where was the Berlin Wall? What is the main religion of Israel? Muslim. The language they speak in Latin America is Latin. True or false? The what? Believe me, I don't know the answer to this question, but I'm thinking. Okay, all right. Israel? 
My name is John Howard, Prime Minister of Australia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. John Howard, Prime Minister of Australia. Uh huh. Oh, are you? Yes, I am well, indeed. To Very my nice to meet you. My son-in-law is yeah. yeah. from Queensland. Really? From Texas. Excellent. I hope he voted for me. Mr. Howard, thanks very much for your efforts against Iraq. Thank you very much. There's a lot of countries out there at the moment who are not, be real, not really being as supportive as they should, in particular the French. Um, and uh, we, we're really cutting down on our ties with the French at the moment. Are you boycotting French products? Um, actually not boycotting them, but not going out of our way to look for them. Either. Sure, okay. No, well, that, well that, that's very good. How are you going? John Howard, Prime Minister of Australia. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, we've been very supportive in the war on terror. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we like to think that wherever the United States is, we'll follow. Our number one aim is to uh, keep America happy. Oh, right on. Yeah, we know what's good for us. I think your support is always encouraged, and, uh, and uh, we certainly enjoy your wine. I, I always like to, when I come to places like this where probably I'm not as well recognized as in Australia, just it's really nice to be able to come and actually chat to people normally. Have you seen me on the, on the television? I've, yes, I have. Fantastic. Yes, I, I've, I've met with the president a few times. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do I look? Well, I, I think he's a wonderful guy. We're getting on very well. You certainly can. Wallaby. Wallaby. Excellent. And remember to vote Liberal. It's just so nice to be recognised. It's fantastic. It's nice to get there we go. Of our country. Thank you for being supportive of the United well, States. Well, thank you very much. We, we, we like to do whatever we can. And, and you know, I'm sure that, that our relationship will remain strong for as many years as we can to come. Certainly while I'm in office. My slogan is, John Howard is my mate. John Howard is my mate. John Howard is my mate. Right now, John Howard is my mate. John Howard is my man. John Howard is my mate. John? Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. What's your name again, sir? John Howard. Okay. Um, in terms of the war on terror, who do you think should be the next country to invade? Saudi Arabia. Somebody in the Middle East. We'll make a big glass crater out of the fucking Middle East, for all I care. I'm, I'm thinking Italy. Italy. Mm -hmm. Cuba. Cuba? Yeah. Iran. Iran? Why is that? Uh, I think there's a revolution going on pretty soon. Russia, China, India, and Pakistan. Indonesia, Brazil. Korea. Korea? Sure. Yeah, why do you say that? They're trouble. They're trouble? Yep, okay. What, what's trouble about them? That's their attitude. Canada. Sri Lanka? Right here. Ah. Oh. Never heard of it. Iran. Iran? Iran? Yeah. Okay. All right, do you want to put a, put a number one in Iran there? South, 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 south. south. Where are we? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking then. Okay. North Korea. North Korea. Why do you think North Korea? Uh, nuclear. Nuclear. Yeah. Probably France. France. Oh, yeah. because of okay. the they weren't our All allies. Right. I'm put number two on France. Why would you say France? Yeah. Oh no, I just seem to be some friction between <laughs> France and the United States. Where do you think the best place to invade Iran would be from? I think it'd be from the, the north or the south or the east or the west. Into the east, west. Yeah. You know, and it's amazing because I just realized just now that North Korea is a lot larger than South Korea. I didn't yeah. know it was that large like yeah. that. Other than Iraq, how many countries should the U.S. be allowed to invade during the war on terror? Everybody A three. Except. Six or as many as it likes. As many as we like. And why do you say that? Because we are the we we are the superpower. We yeah. control the world. Yeah. Actually, as many as we have to. So as many as they like. Let's go with three. Three. And why do you choose that one? Uh, because in certain circumstances, with countries harboring terrorists, we have the right to go in and get them. Sure. And, and kill them like they're killing us. Uh, seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why seven? Well, that's the ones involved in it. We know about that. So. Right. Okay. Which seven are they? Well, I don't want to name those. <laughs> Shit, everybody other than Great Britain. What, what about Australia? Australia better get in line and go hang out with Great Britain and leave us alone. Those we know are involved. Right. That's what we're doing, surgically removing those involved. The innocent people won't get hurt if we can help it. To properly avenge September 11, how many Iraqi civilians should the U.S. kill? A, the same number as the September 11 death toll. B, 10 times the September 11 death toll. Or C, unlimited. As many as they need to. The same, just to even it out, I guess. Unlimited. Unlimited. And that could range from anything of the whole of Baghdad to whatever's needed. Whole country. The whole country. <laughs> Whatever. No, I think we should have blew up the whole country. It's horrible to have, like, civilian casualties, but as many as needed. <laughs> Civilians? Civilians, yeah. They better get out the way. They can make the whole country into a big glass parking lot, for all I care. What do you think the, the U.S. invasion of Iraq should be called? A, Operation God's Fist, 
B, the Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> or C, the Final Solution? I like God's Fist. Why do you like that one? Because God's wrath is upon their heads. Final Solution. Why do you like that one? Because that's the way it should be, the Final Solution. The people, once they see what we're doing, they're going to get behind us. I think it should be called Vote for Me on Election Day. Final Solution. Yeah, we'll do yeah. Finishing it up then. Right, okay. Zero Rocky Fraj. What's an appropriate amount of Baghdad for the US military to destroy? A, at least half of it. B, all of it. C, only the bits where people live. Guess all of it. No reason. All of it. All of it. Why do you say that? It's just what I believe. They came over and... I don't know, I just, I just have my beliefs. If they want to come over here and do that crap, then we should go... I don't know, I don't, have a problem. I don't even have a problem with just destroying the whole city. How would you feel about the US using nuclear weapons against Iraq? A, support it. B, strongly support it. Or C, can't understand what we're waiting for. Can't understand why we're waiting. Right. So long. Um, A, support it. Right, okay, why is that? Uh, because they did the same to us. Sure, I mean, sure. Like, if they had the weapons. a lot of people, yeah. yeah. None of the above, unless they strike first, then incinerate the bloody bastards and take them straight to hell like we did the Japanese in the Second War.